As always, thank you for joining us and chiming in on Open Line. Before we go, I want you all to have your last say about as we look to the future with these closures, you know, on the horizon, even more coming, what, what can turn things around? Well, I I, I think calling, if you're in the rural communities and you believe that bringing $1.4 billion to, you know, to your community can make a difference, call Governor Lee. Governor Haslam recommended the bill because he believed it was right for rural Tennessee. He believed it was right for our state. And Governor Lee is new. He doesn't think he's for it, um, but he hasn't heard from you in rural communities. Mm -hmm. Call. We, are, we have 38 states that have already done this, and we're seeing that play out. We have a natural experiment happening. We have maternal mortality going in the wrong direction. We have infant mortality going in the wrong direction. We have life expectancy going in the wrong direction in rural communities in our state. And it's time that our elected officials stand up, even for things that don't feel particularly comfortable or a slam dunk. We're looking for a hero and a leader. And 615-741-2001 is Governor Lee's number. If you think it will make a difference to bring that much uh, resources to your community and to our 300,000 uninsured um, folks, call. Rebecca, I have a few seconds here. What, what, what would you like to see happen in the short term? What can people do? I just, I continue to champion Governor Lee and his aspiration to bring additional jobs into rural areas. I think that's going to be what turns around just the economic viability mm -hmm. of our rural communities. Ladies, thank you for your expertise. Yeah. I really hope you helping us walk through this, this, this tough topic. And of course, New Channel 5 is committed to this topic. We are working on a documentary about the rural hospital closures. More on that to come on News Channel 5 and newschannel5.com. Have a good night, everybody.